your expectations of God have not been met and you're disappointed, here's what I would say. Don't ignore that. Don't brush by that. Don't try to shove it down because listen, I get it. It's hard. And I want to frame this well. I don't want to cheapen what you're experiencing, but know that even in the midst of your disappointment, that this truth still stands, that your God has not sinned against you. And ultimately, here's, here's where I just can't explain it. God's word oftentimes says his ways are higher than ours. And we might come to him with these plans and we might be like, well, God, it looks pretty good to me. Do this. And then God's like, no, sorry. I've got something else in store for you. And as that's being played out, we oftentimes find ourselves disappointed. But listen, God says, you're not always gonna get it. But would you know that I love you, that I'm for you? And so in this moment, what it takes simply put, I, I, I don't know how else to put it, it just takes trust and it takes surrender.